What are they gonna do? <laughs> oh my gosh, is none of them gonna get through? I'm literally the Nismo pace car. Okay, boys, today we are here in the Forza 7 demo, and we're going to be testing out some of the crash and damage physics, I'm going to say, because we're going to see how much fun we can possibly have in the demo with one race. That being that, since we only have the demo to work with, and you guys can definitely, if you have an Xbox One or anything, go out, download it, and play it yourselves. You don't even have to watch me. But I'm going to see how much fun we can have in this brand new demo of Forza Motorsport 7. And, uh, yeah, this game is definitely something to look forward to because it will, you know, give us something to do this fall. And it is actually exciting because it's just crazy to see how advanced Forza can get their stuff. And this game is advanced, I will say. It is by far advanced. When I first saw some of, like, the trailers and the announcements and all that, it really seemed like this game was just going to become a Forza Motorsport 6 DLC, pretty much just an add-on with a couple new tracks and all that. But they really did change the entire feel of the game and the sound effects and everything as you're gonna hear when we go into this. So let's make sure all of our assists are good. We'll keep it at manual. Uh, shall we go simulation? Let's make it fun already. And uh, nah, no rewind. Uh, that could, shall we keep it off? We'll turn it off, we'll turn it off, we'll turn. We're gonna go a bit hardcore first try, okay? Oh, it's already loading us in. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna not play nice okay we're gonna see what happens when you play rough against these ais so immediately we're gonna start this race off in the brand new porsche 911 gt2 rs which is absolutely phenomenal by the way let's go okay so we got a solid 24 racers out here too okay bam immediately right into the corvette and oh it does not treat you easy Already going sideways in the Porsche. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna have to weave our way through. Boom, hit him, hit him right there. We're gonna go casual, casual 12 year old today, okay? So we're gonna be ramming. What's a Maserati Gran Turismo doing out here? Like we got Huracans, we got the 911 GT2 RS. Like I don't think that belongs if you ask me. Okay, let's hit the Spano. Oh, <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, I'm just gonna bash. Okay, we're at way too high of a gear. Holy cow. Let's change some views. Now, we have driver view, which is awesome because it's driver view. You know, you like to see, like, the more simulation effect. Excuse me while I grind through there. But one thing I had to complain about it in Forza Motorsport 6 is that you're just too far away from the windshield. You just can't see that much out of it. So that's why, boom, we have this now, which is full simulation. I mean, I can't, I will admit, they could have had a bit of the steering wheel down there because now it looks like I'm not driving with anything. But this is by far way better and a lot cooler. All right, so we got some cannons out there. Let's get some skids. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, are we going to catch up the guys? Oh, shoot, I'm not even sure if we're going to catch those guys up there. We got a chopper to our left. Okay, we're gonna skid it out. All right, what we're gonna have to do is I think we're gonna have to let the guys in front of us go because they're just too far from my reach now. But yeah, no, this game, once you hop on it, it handles completely different than uh, Forza Motorsport 6, but definitely not in a bad way. I, it, it handles in a way that I can tell that I'll be able to get used to this and it'll feel probably even better by the end. I don't know. But yeah, no, this is easily, this is not too bad at all. But my gosh, yeah, it's one of those games where I feel like I could take a screenshot at any moment and it might look like real life from a far distance. And that's that's impressive. Okay, okay. That's too much right there. Too much right there. Let's see if we head back in there. Boom. Actually, I want to try. See, since we're going to be messing around today, let's see what happens. If we just... <laughs> what are they going to do? <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, okay, okay. Quickly spin it around, spin it around. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go back. Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was so refreshing to see the other GT2 up there in front of us as well. It's so cool that Porsche's not DLC. You just, in fact, the cover car is now Porsche. But okay. Holy cow, it is loud in here. Holy cow. It is a symphony inside the tunnels. Plus, the graphics and everything over the car. Okay, we got, oh dude, this track is just actually perfect. I mean, like, Yas Marina was one thing, but this is just another. Let's go see what happens. Full speed. 
Ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. If you're getting upset while watching this video, just remember, uh, I'm just trying to do some different stuff. And now's the moment where I remember that I'm in simulation. So let's work with this. But we're still going. We're still going. Like, it's able to handle front-end hits because this car is rear-engine. But, okay, things are... Oh, okay. But, yeah, like I said, um, I'm sure there's plenty of demo videos out there. And people have just done the race. And, in fact, this this race specifically has been out for months, I believe, because at certain gaming conventions. So what I'm going to do is literally try to have as much 10-year-old fun as I can by testing out some of the damage physics. Maybe doing a bit a little hooning here and there. So that's what we're going to be doing today in this video. Because, uh, yeah, sadly, there is, there's only so much you could do in a Forza Motorsport demo in the... In the Horizons, you have an open world. In fact, they even let you go online in the last one. So, this one. Oh, that's... That is terrible. Hey, my little Porsche friend that I knocked out completely still back here with me. That's good. That's good. That's good. But, yeah, I, as you can see, I'm absolutely terrible at this. But, you know what? We're going to continue our way. We're on simulation traction control off. And we've gone completely damaged. So, I don't know if you ask me, but this car is becoming slowly very undrivable. Another thing I want to point out is hopefully you guys are enjoying the gameplay because it is 1080, 60 frames. I whipped out the more advanced capture card for this game, which I haven't done before. And I figured starting with Forza 7, I might as well start doing 60 frames uh, gameplay of it because this game is so advanced. And I feel like limiting it to 30 frames is just not even going to bring out its full potential. So... I thought, obviously, <laughs> I won't be putting out 4K gaming videos for you guys, even though this game will be able to do that. But I thought, you know, 60 frames per second, 1080, I might try it out for this game, and since I've never done it before in the past games, and it definitely makes a difference. So, yeah, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy that. We got dust. We still got cars behind me. Let's go see what we can do. Oh crap, that's a tough choice. Which one do I want to bully? Let's try to take them out both. See, that's one thing. If you listen to the sound effects, it sounds like you're actually hitting a car in real life. It sounds like it's a James Bond movie, especially the fact that there's a DB11 right in front of me. But with that, God, I love the way they added the crashing sound effects. And solid 24th place. All right, let's try better. I know I physically waited up and I tried to cause a massive traffic jam, which in my opinion was 100% worth it. But this time we'll try to take a better approach. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, stop showing off, Forza. I know I know you've like gotten a lot of awards and a lot of prizes for this, and I completely believe it, but come on, we, we all know that. Now, as much as uh, truck racing seems fun and all, I think I'm going to have to take the Nismo GTR out for a spin because we're going to have some rough weather conditions on the Nürburgring. And uh, let's go with the uh, any suit that has red in it would appeal to my taste. Just for weather's sake, I'm just going to flip that. Just, just to be, you know, smart about everything. Let's get it here. Ooh, this is looking nice. This is looking so nice. Okay, it already puts us in the first person view right here. And when I was, uh, when I was watching this, and I'm sure you guys can see this too, when I first saw this, I'm like, this looks kind of cheap and almost too animated inside, but I think that's just the material that this car is made out of. It's just kind of like the Sesto Elemento, if you've ever seen the inside of that. It's just, it's so so simple that it almost looks fake but holy cow we got gt3 cars everywhere and we're bashing oh excuse me bam squeezing our way through still on simulation so keep that in mind but the weather conditions are turning worse as we speak oh i missed that corvette i felt like i haven't seen that in ages for some reason okay keep going keep going we got a bmw gt2 up in first place Hang on, I want to check something. Oh, M. Rossi is still in here. Comment down below if you know the legendariness of M. Rossi. You have to be a hardcore motorsport player to just understand the feels of M. Rossi. Because M. Rossi is the man. He is the man. All right, so immediately as weather conditions change, I can feel the track. It feels slippery. I can feel the differences and all that. And let's go try to take him out. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I guess you can't just take a car out as simple as that in this game. Because I kind of took myself out there as well. Okay, admire this. This is wicked right here. The lights and everything. I'm going to try to hold it up. I'm, I'm going to try to be the pace car. I'm not going to let anything pass me. 
<laughs> They're not getting through. Oh my gosh, is none of them gonna get through? Is none of them gonna... Oh! 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 Come on! I'm literally the Nismo pace car. Come on, come on. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh shoot, he's gonna... Okay, we have to go speed up. Go catch this sucker. Bam! See if we got him. Oh, we got him. Good. We got him. Good. Okay, we have a beautiful looking Ferrari coming up here. I don't even know if I want to wreck that because that looks magnificent. Let's go. First person. Can we see the mirror? Where is the mirror? The mirror is right next to us. Okay, wow. Okay. Oh, no. The Ferrari just got by. Okay, let's go back and get it. Pow! Oh, we are dominating this. Like a 12-year-old, which is exactly kind of what I want. We do have consequences for our actions because uh, my simulation is kicking in now. Oh, no. Okay, we might have played ourselves. Okay, we have some work to do. Excuse me, Bentley. We're going to try to take the inside. This actually works. I guess they know they're slow grass and they know they're fast grass. Okay, we need speed. We need speed. As you can tell, my car, I'm not, see, right now I'm going straight and it's going to the left. And that's just simulation right there. Which is fine because I'm completely at fault for that. Little tap right there. Gosh, that works. Yeah, playing dirty is uh, extremely beneficial if you're uh, playing at, at least a certain ranking I'm playing at. Alright, full speed ram, full speed ram. Okay, that didn't work, that didn't work. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh no, that worked even worse than the Porsche because this car is front engine. <laughs> okay, now I'm really gonna be the pace car. <laughs> I'm really gonna be. Okay, I'm gonna have to let the guys in front of me take the win. No, we just let the McLaren pass by. Okay. No, 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 no. They're just slowly slipping away. There's nothing we can do. We can't even go at this point because if we start going. Art, because this car is front engined, it's just it got totaled from the front hit, which was completely stupid of me. And I just wasn't thinking straight. But you know, if we're messing around like this, then I guess that's so. We're just gonna they're slowly getting by. Oh, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Oh my oh my gosh. That is actually amazing. Those physics of how that happened. Okay, I don't know what the Huracan Super Trofeo is doing. With that, I think that's going to end our Forza 7 demo uh, bash of fun that we just had here today. I can't wait for the actual game because if we could have that much fun in the demo with only limited to like three races and three cars, then this actual game is going to be wicked. So uh, I look forward to playing it. And with that, this will be Jack Ultramotive signing off. <laughs>